Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So finally able to work on my 120i. I've been struggling with a head cold for the last couple of days. So I've been like trying to get myself together. So right now I'm just getting out of the house, trying to get this cold out of my system. So work it off. So I'm gonna go ahead today and drop out the suspension. So this is how it looks and it doesn't look too bad. Just the front bumper got some chips and all in all it was sitting outside. So it has a little bit of like paint wear from where the sun's been hitting it. So gotta get that all retouched and cleared up over. But all in all, the rest of the paint looks pretty good. And as you can see, this is how the gap, <laughs> this kind of gap we're working with right now. And it is huge. So I'm gonna close that in. And also I'm gonna take off the tent because in the rear, it started to peel up. So the car is up in the air right now. And I was a little bit terrified a little bit. When I jacked it up, I see a pool of coolant and Luckily enough, I went ahead and checked up top and around here and everything is completely bone dry. So I'm wondering if it's from one of the times I filled up coolant and some spilled off to the side and that's it. Cause that's all I'm seeing down there. So not really sure what's going off. I'm gonna have to drop the pan and see what's up. So hopefully I thought I was just gonna be doing mods today, not maintenance stuff. So <laughs> we'll see. All right, so we're about an hour and a half into this project and I completed the fronts. So the BCs are installed on the front. And over here, as you can see, got these up in there too. Uh, still gotta go clean these hubs off before I put the wheels on. I definitely gonna need to put some uh, spacers on because these wheels are like super small. These are the old shocks right there for the front. Not really old, I only have like a few thousand miles on them, but I keep them up for storage. As you can see, these are like, let me see, pretty small. So I gotta put like a 10 millimeter or so in the front and the rear, I don't know, maybe 18. But yeah, I definitely gotta go do the rear right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and get back to this. All right, so new day today. I wasn't able to finish the rears yesterday because the rear top nut was missing. Like when I bought it, it looked like the guy didn't put the nuts inside of it. So I just went ahead and went to Ace this morning and uh, got two brand new nuts. So both of them were 50 cents each at Ace and they fit perfectly. So I'm good to go on that. And over here, I got the spacers on. So these are, I believe 18 mils. So I just gotta go ahead and pretty much put them in. I got the extended, extended lugs. You can see the difference between the between the originals and this one. So definitely gonna need it for this one. So I already put the fronts on. And yeah, kind of looked a little, a little bit lower than it did before. Like before I went on stock, it was like hanging down to here. So now it's a little bit higher up. So I'm pretty excited to see how it looks. So I let the car down and the rear is pretty much high as heck. The front is good. Only thing I need to fix on the front is the camber adjustment, but the rear it's like high as heck. So I got to lower that down and thankfully I got the rear, the fronts at least looking, eyeball them, came out looking pretty decent. The only thing is just the, you see the wheels kind of like tucked in at the top. So I still got a lot of room for adjustment so it's got to tab these back over some towards this way to straighten them out. But other than that, I like the height. And these are on 17, so I wish I had some 18 to throw on there. A lot of us put CCs on here, but they will not fit. I have to put the fronts in the rear, but the rears on this one cannot fit on this car, so that's a no-go. All right, so I'm experiencing an issue that mostly happens when you're adjusting your coilovers, and that is your coilover, the locking nuts or whatever, they become stuck or seized. So in my case, they're seized, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and get these off. So the way I usually get these off is I just go ahead and clean off all the threads, like blow it out with an air compressor or compressed air or something like that. And then go ahead and spray some WD-40, preferably PB, what's it? PB Blaster? PB Blaster, that stuff is legit. So I'd get some PB Blaster sprayed on there, but right now I'm using WD-40, that's the only thing I'll find right now. So spray that on there, let it sit for like 30 minutes. And then you get yourself, uh, let me see. So pretty much you're gonna use a hammer 
and something like a long flathead or a pry bar or something that's like got a sharpish kind of edge at the end and something that's sturdy enough that you could hit onto. So I just get one of these and then what I'll do is I'll get this right here at the edge. Get a better angle. And I put it right here at the edge like that and then I just hit it with the hammer in this direction. That direction is to pretty much loosen it. So once I go ahead and do that, then I can go ahead and loosen it. So pretty much just two hits and I got this thing loose. So all I gotta do now is just adjust this up to where I want it to be and bring this up also. Put the wheel back on and we're good to go. So I pretty much wrapped up lower in the car and this is how it came out. And it looks pretty good so far. So the only thing I need later on is like some wheels so I can stop running these spacers and get some proper fitment on here. But other than that, I like how it turned out so far. So I still have to remove the tent, but it's kind of cold right now, so I don't want to go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to wait a couple of days and hopefully like warm it up a little bit. Or I might have to just bring it in the garage and throw on some heaters and yeah, try to take this thing off. But other than that, the worst thing is just to have uh, stuck glue when you take it off the tent. So don't want to deal with that. But at least now I have room in here to go ahead and start working on this car. So I'm going to put it up in the air in a couple of days also and then pretty much start tearing into it. So thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.